Hello, pilots of the internet, and welcome to Foldable Flight. I want to start off by saying Happy New Year to all of you. I had a wonderful holiday season, and I hope the same is true for you as well. And we are starting the year off with a bang, because in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to fold one of the grand prize winners from the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest, and this is called Kitty Hawk, designed by Will Barron. Now you might think that Kitty Hawk looks like a pretty typical paper airplane, but it is not just your typical paper airplane. This thing locks in a three dimensional shape and it is simply the most aerodynamic plane I have ever folded. The lock is hidden under this windscreen on the front so that it doesn't create any drag and the wings are extremely thin and it just has a great glide ratio as a result of all of that. And I think that its form is beautiful in its simplicity, but I have designed a template for this paper airplane as promised to the grand prize winners of this year's contest. So congratulations once again, Will, on your excellent submission and for being one of those grand prize winners. I hope you enjoy this template and I hope all of my patrons enjoy this template as well. For just $4 a month, Everyone who supports me on patreon.com slash foldable flight gets access to this template as well as over 50 others. So head over there and check that out. And with all of that out of the way, let's see this plane in flight and then I'll teach you how to fold it. In order to fold this plane, you're going to need either an eight and a half by 11 or a four sheet of paper. You're going to want a ruler and a pen. We'll set these aside for now, and we're just going to begin by folding this right edge to the left edge. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and open your paper up and fold your top edge to the bottom edge. Now we'll go ahead and open the paper back up. I'm going to rotate it into this orientation and it's time to break out that ruler. So if you're folding from eight and a half by 11, you're going to measure one inch off this center line. If you are folding from A4, your measurement is two and a half centimeters. And you're just going to go ahead and mark with your pin right at that line or at your measurement rather. And now that we've done that, we can flip the paper over and I'm going to fold this top edge down and I want the crease I make to go right through that line I just made. So I'm looking over here at this mark. I'm just rolling the paper into position and I'm making a little pinch crease right on the mark and then lining my center crease up with my center crease on the bottom layer and creasing all the way across. And now that I have done that, I'm going to open the paper up and I want to fold the top edge basically to this crease I just made. I'm going to leave about a millimeter there, just a tiny gap between my top edge and that crease. And I'll go ahead and unfold. And we're ready now to kind of just pull this bottom crease up like so, and fold this down like that. And we'll go ahead and flip the paper over. And we're going to now fold this top edge into the center. like so. Do the same thing on the other side. And your plane should look like this. And we're actually going to go ahead and open up either side, flip the paper back over and unfold this section that's going to be our windscreen. And now you can see we've got this little kind of pocket, this rib, and we have these creases. And basically what I want to do is I want to look for the point where this diagonal crease is intersecting the top edge of this band. And I'm going to be folding from that point right there to this point here. 
at the center crease at the bottom of this kind of pocket or rib. So it's like that point right there, but on this top layer. So I'm just folding from that point to that point. And it's kind of awkward because the layers aren't going to lie flat. You just kind of have to pull it like so to make that crease. And then once you do one side, you're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. So now we have those two creases and you'll see if we kind of folded the paper, the plane in half, that's going to swing backwards as we do so. And what we want to do is we're going to kind of try to trap this inside that elbow as it closes. So you can kind of do what I'm doing here and bend the elbow, swing this inside all the way down until it meets this and then close your whole model up. just like that. Okay, and with the paper in this orientation, I'm now going to fold this edge here to that diagonal crease. Flip the paper over and do the same exact step on this side, folding this edge to that crease. Open both of these layers up. And now I'm going to fold this edge here to this outer diagonal crease. And I'm actually going to open that up and now fold this top edge to that crease as well. And this layer I will leave folded in this position as we now flip it over and repeat those steps. So top edge to this crease here. and then top edge to that crease there. And now we have the tab. So if we kind of close it up on that crease, this tab here is going to tuck inside this pocket. And so I like to kind of even curl this a little bit in preparation. And I'm then just swinging this in and tucking that in behind and trying to get everything to lie nice and flat, just like so. And then I can flip it over, do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna be swinging that closed and tucking this in. So I'm curling this outer flap and just swinging it closed like that. And now you can see your plane is locked in this three dimensional shape. We're just going to be folding from the nose of the plane right through this elbow there, right through that top portion. So let's do one wing and it's going to define the wing angle for you. Just folding between those two points. And it'll fold something just like that. And now I'm going to unfold that side and fold the other side as well. And as I do this, I wanna pay close attention. Again, I'm folding right through the nose, but I want to make sure that this wing crease is lining up with the other wing crease. And we do this because if you fold both wings at the same time, it can tear that central lock right there. So I'm unfolding the first and doing the second. And now, we have a finished plane and I sometimes go just like that and try to get the wings to curve in the same direction. And you might find that you need the tiniest bit of up elevator with this plane, but it's not going to be a lot. Definitely not going to be a lot. So you might just bend the back edges up just ever so slightly, but you can of course test before you make any modifications at all. And with that, you have a finished Kitty Hawk designed by Will Barron. So thank you so much to Will for entering this contest. Congratulations once again on being one of the winners. And thank you all for sitting through this tutorial. I hope you have a lot of fun flying this plane. I'll see you next time.